All right, so in this video, we're going to learn how to test uh, an older Johnson or Evinrude outboard ignition coil and make sure it's good to, or, and to see if we need to buy a new one. So what you want to do is you probably uh, popped off the flywheel and you see a plate like this. What you want to do is remove the two ignition coils from this ignition plate and so you can test them. So once you have it removed, you're going to find two wires here. These two wires are your primary winding, and each wire to the spark plug connection is your secondary winding. So those two connections we're gonna test. So to test that, you're gonna need a ohm meter, electronic or digital. Um, this is a fluke, it's auto ranging, so you set it to the ohm setting, and it automatically uh, ranges. You may not have one that automatically ranges, and you'll need to set it to the 1000 or 1 kilo ohm setting. Once you've done that, you want to check the primary winding for continuity or uh, less than 1 ohm. So you see across those two, you're getting 0 0.7 ohms. So then you can take one of the leads and go to the spark plug connection. Here I'm getting 6 kilo ohms. From the other side, from the other wire, I mean, I'm getting six kilo ohms as well. On this one, just another one for reference, I'm getting 0.7 ohms across the primary winding, across the secondary winding, I'm getting. three point two seven kilo ohms across both of them so the acceptable range across the secondary winding is anywhere between three thousand and eight thousand ohms or three kilo ohms and eight kilo ohms um, as long as your coil checks out to be pretty within that range and you have continuity across the primary winding you should be good to go as long as you make sure you got a good spark plug boot connection or not the boot but the a good spark plug seat inside this orifice here so hope that helps <clears throat> uh, please click like and subscribe for more videos thanks